One wintry night, when inseparable friends Gerda and Kay listen to Gerda's grandmother tell them stories of the Snow Queen and how she visits cities at night, looking through the windows of homes, Kay mocks the Queen, resulting in her cursing him with a snow shard in his eye, making him physically and emotionally cold towards those he previously loved. As the Snow Queen guides him away to her palace in Lapland, intent on erasing any past memories and sense of emotion from the young boy so he can remain within the palace forever, Gerda takes it upon herself to go on an adventure in search of her best friend. This is Lev Tamanov's adaptation of Hans Christian Andersen's classic tale, The Snow Queen, a Soviet animated film full of fantastical and comforting fluid animation. The Snow Queen continues to raise the stakes with its imaginative peril, which is balanced with a welcoming warmth, and at its strongest, also with moments of redemption too. A tender reflection on the consequences of loneliness, presented in a manner accessible for the youngest viewers, as well as consoling towards adults who may continue to struggle with loneliness. The Snow Queen is respected as a classic of Soviet animation for a good reason. One of the most instantly recognisable aspects of The Snow Queen is that the film embraces a humble, beautifully fluid animation style, reminiscent of nostalgic illustrations from a storybook that's been brought to life, likely intentional due to The Snow Queen's literary origins. The film boasts gorgeously memorable sequences due to no small part by the animation's high standard. Gerda riding a friendly buck through the blizzards, seeking The Snow Queen's icy palace, the flight of snow and frost from the north, floating across the waves and into the town. The intricate details and vibrant solace of a sorceress's garden, which she is enthusiastic to share with Gerda. This is a film overflowing with enticing sequences that creates an appealing, fantastical allure that is bound to ignite the imaginations of viewers, young and old alike. Upon each step within Gerda's adventure, the longer it takes Gerda to find the palace and save a friend Kay, the more the stakes continue to rise. With each snag that holds her back from her final goal, more time passes for Kay's memory loss to take further effect, losing any trace of Gerda and any sense of his emotions. Within the narrative pressure on Gerda, during the film's most suspenseful moments, you can't help but wish Gerda would avoid these moments of digression and misdirection completely. There's a prominent sense that her need to save Kay demonstrates the necessity of retaining emotion and empathy to remain human. Gerda doesn't want Kay to remain under the Snow Queen's influence, because that wouldn't be the same Kay that she befriended. This is a simple yet effective way of encouraging viewers not to repress their own emotions or empathy, because a significant consequence of that is loneliness and isolation. Atmanov's film expresses thoughtful consideration for its lonely characters. They're flawed and can be selfish, but they're not necessarily malevolent. The Snow Queen visits the towns at night in a spiritual snowfall form due to her loneliness, and her decision to kidnap Kay, influencing him to be emotionless, isn't viewed as an unkind action from her. She views it as an ultimate kindness to remove emotion from the young boy, possibly because emotion may have failed her in the past. Additionally, the sorceress with the beautiful garden isn't wicked, but her desperation to keep Gerda with her demonstrates her loneliness and isolation. She's a harmless character, but completely dismisses Gerda's own wants and needs by coercing Gerda to rest. A final example that reinforces loneliness as a significant motive within the Snow Queen is the robber girl, the daughter of a bandit leader. She is adamant on keeping animals captive. Her first impression is a cruel one, which is gradually revealed to be hiding the robber girl's true feelings. She's friendless due to living a bandit's life, leaving her feeling like an outcast. It's in Gerda's kindness towards her that she finally reveals her truer self, her emotional vulnerability, and in this revelation she can finally make friends with the animals. The Snow Queen is a film that has a lot of care towards its outcast characters, encouraging viewers both young and old to reflect further on somebody, to extend their sense of empathy, before making a judgement based on the first impression. In conclusion, Lev Atamanov's The Snow Queen captures a nostalgic quality of reading fairy tale books from our childhood through its gorgeous animation, encouraging viewers to not suppress their emotions, but to extend their empathy towards others who may be struggling. That is ultimately what Gerda does for Kay in saving him, and by reaching out beyond the barrier that was previously in place. Their friendship grows stronger than ever before. A sweetly thoughtful film on the necessity of emotional intelligence, The Snow Queen is bound to resonate with animation lovers.
A special thank you to my incredible tier Patreon supporter Gil, and my super tier Patreon supporters Constantine Bombelli and Jamie. <laughs>